everybody. Welcome back. This is Gina. Um, so I want to say um, welcome back to all of you who've been with me for a while and welcome to all of you who are new to my channel. I've had quite a few new subscribers so I just want to take the time to recognize you and say thank you so much for um, for subscribing. So as you guys know I, um, I did a little flip through of these um, journals one or two videos back. I'm kind of losing track of it with everything going on. But I finally completed them. And I've named this one Wishes and this one Grand Adventure. So I just thought I would do a quick flip through um, for those of you who have not seen it. And then of course I did have a few bits that I still had to, hadn't had completed. <laughs> so we'll start with this one first. These are both altered file folders. Um, they look very different, and I will explain why. Um, this one, they're both about five and a half by seven and a half, and I took into account um, the additional space that this was taking up. So obviously, this is a, is a smaller one. Let me just zoom out a bit so you guys can see everything. So this one, I've got a Brad, um, a book plate on here. This, these are both Artie Mays. Um, uh, kits. Artie Mays is on Etsy, so if any of you are curious about her designs, you'll have to do a search for Artie Mays on Etsy. Um, so these are kits that I worked with in the past when I was on her design team, and I'm not on the design team any longer, so you'll just have to do a, a search for these on your own. Okay, again, I did a little altered um, mini clothespin. I love these. I got those at the Dollar Tree and then just such a nice little size. I reinforced the spine with some muslin. Um, this has got fabric, some of the craft shipping paper, and then the design all layered um, to the front of that. And then if you open up and take off the little clip that's holding this page, so we start here with a little magnetized pocket and I've added a little <clears throat> journaling card inside of this. So although this isn't doesn't actually have a journal section, there's lots of places to add little notes. I'm going to zoom out again guys because I want to make sure you can see all of it. Um, so this is a little stamped um, image that I've got here and then diff just different elements from the kit itself and there may be the odd thing from another kit um, within. If I can recognize I will I will share that. So this flips over and then on the back here I did a window tag so you could do some journaling on the back of that and then that's got the image peeking through that little pocket and then over here I've just done some collaging oh gosh sorry about that guys every time I move in here um, unfortunately it it shakes the table alright guys I'm sorry about that uh, Paul had come in so <laughs> I had to stop everything alright so on this page I've got another pocket with a little collage here and I've just made another little handmade journaling card so you could do some writing on the back of that and then this is another one that I've backed with some of the shipping paper. <clears throat> so this one's got a double pocket. And inside here, this is just some old lace I've picked up. Um, if you guys are interested, uh, I am going to be sharing a little haul. It's a collective haul. Um, so you will see that coming. Sorry again guys, uh, I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but <laughs> okay, so I've got a collective haul uh, video that I'm going to be doing and I'll share with you some of the finds I've had. Alright, so this now flips down. I just love these little <coughs> altered uh, file folders because they offer so much um, opportunity to do different flips and things. And this is one of the images. I've done some backing of um, a, like a decoupage of some of the um, pattern paper 
tissue, you know, the tissue paper uh, patterns. <laughs> I'll get it out in a minute. And so in here, I just left this blank because I thought it offers uh, the recipient either an opportunity to add some photos or a photo and just some journaling or just journaling. And then back up here, I've done an altered <coughs> index card. Again, multiple layers on this, a collage. I put some tissue paper, and then I like these images. I thought they went really well with that. So there's a pocket there, and then this also flips over, and we've got a tuck spot here, and a little bit of um, muslin with some lace and a button, and so another collaged element a journal card from the kit. And then on this back one, I've got a pocket here, and these are the tags from the kit. And I've just folded it up because I thought it's additional writing space there. Um, and these could just be cut apart and used as um, tags throughout the journal if wanted. But I was trying to get in quite a bit of uh, writing space without adding <coughs> a separate journal because it was getting so bulky already. So over here we've got a tiny little pocket there with another tag that's been collaged. Some ruffled fabric there and another journal card <clears throat> with quite a bit of writing space there. So that tucks in and then this flips up and again more writing space here and then on this part we've got another little pocket and this one does not uh, flip up this has been glued down so here's another altered uh, index card I love how that one came out did some stamping on that did some of the um, pattern tissue paper and then elements from the kit and leftover scraps and so on so that's tucked in there and then this flips over, and I really like how this page came out. So I've left this blank. Again, I thought it'd be a perfect place for a photo. And here I've just made a little notepad um, so that this could be replaced. When this is filled up, you could just make another little notepad and tuck it back in there. So there's a few sheets in here to write on. And that just tucks in the slot that I've made there. And here... I've got another little pocket, and then this is another little um, place that you could do some writing, and I just left this little pocket open so that you could add some memorabilia to that. So that's tucked in there. And then here, I've got another little shipping tag that's been altered, and this is the back. And on the back here, I've done another pocket with um, two tags. So those could have some more writing. So even though it, it, there's there's not really a, like a signature, there's still a lot of uh, writing space there. So this is Wishes. And this is now listed in my shop. I've got it up and running. Um, for those of you who have subscribed, I am going to be sending out a newsletter. If you haven't already received that, I'll be sending out a newsletter um, very soon. Uh, in fact, I'm going to try to get that done today um, so that, that you you know, the people who have subscribed are aware that I am open again. So that's Wishes. All right, and this one is Grand Adventure, and I thought Life is a Grand Adventure. I just thought that was the perfect name for this because I am on um, <laughs> quite an adventure, so it was just perfect. I will admit I'm going to struggle to part with this one. I love it. These are my colors with the greens and the the purples. I absolutely love how this came out. So this is what it looks like, front and back. It's pretty chunky. Um, again, this is about five and a half by seven and a half. This is some chiffon. Um, it's like torn fabric that I purchased, and I love it because it's very frayed and um, 
the colors are just oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this isn't actually attached. This is just going to be, um, you know, tied tied on there. And this is the front. I've made a little pocket here with a little journaling card tucked inside there. Lots of stamping in this one and a lot of little bits of fabric clusters. Uh, the front here, you, I've got some fabric along there. And then this is just a little collage. I love the little butterflies. So that's tucked in the front. <clears throat> move my coffee. I can just see I'm going to end up spilling it. So again guys, just bear with me. I want to make sure this is in frame. And so the first flip is this. Um, <clears throat> I've left this blank so you could do some writing here. And then over here we've got a belly band, another fabric cluster, and um, some little flowers there. I'll give you a close-up of that. Just little things I've picked up along the way. It's it's um, <clears throat> funny how you'll just find like this piece. I didn't think I'd have any use for it, and when I started working in this journal, I, I thought, oh, I love that. The browns with the mauve, I think, really go together. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So here I've got a um, this is a fabric a stamp. I've stamped on some fabric and then just added some elements from the kit and a little bit of stitching and used some pinking shears there and then another bit of that chiffon lace or fabric. And then I added one of the little envelopes from the kit as well. And this inside's just got a couple of the um, little mini postcards. And this could be written inside. I did some stenciling. I went ahead and ordered <clears throat> another of the Tim Holtz stencils that came with the um, stamp kit and maybe I'll show that in the little haul video because it's um, like a thrift store haul and I did have to purchase a few things so I might share with you guys that as well. So this flips over and over here we've got a couple pockets starting with this one and this another bit of writing space there and I've done some collaging in the back with some old music page um, that I've run across and then this is one of the tickets and I've just done a little tag there you can do some writing there and again on this one as well and so here another cluster um, collage with some old button there and this is one of the envelopes from the kit I just Oh, this is an altered um, paper clip. So I've just got that tucked up on here. It could be moved. I just thought it was really pretty here. <clears throat> Another pocket here. So that could be journaled on the back of that. And then this is another of the little mini postcards. So I've just tucked that in there. And inside here, this is from a different kit. I'm <clears throat> Excuse me, I was thinking I did have something, but I thought with the purples it really went real well with, with that. So that's a journal card that's tucked up in there. A little bit of collaging here with a metal brad, and then in this one I've got a couple of the little tickets that you can journal on there or you could cut them up and use them in various ways. Another journaling card that's, that layered that one. I think Artie Mays and Tracy Fox kind of um, started doing kits where you could layer and, and it was because um, I did work with one of their collaborations and I can't recall the kit but I really like that because particularly um, <clears throat> anybody starting out, it's a great way, you know, to kind of layer your your tags and, and, and things. So this one's got some little twine and then some more of this um, chiffon fabric there. This page has actually got three pockets. You've got one here, one here, and one here. And so here's another little um, journaling card. 
of collage. So that's in this pocket. And then on the back here, I took a time card, and I, I really like how that came out. I put some thread back there and just layered it up so you can do a lot of journaling on the back of that one as well. So this one um, did take a, <clears throat> a lot more time because what I did with this file folder is I came back and covered all of the file folder with uh, the shipping paper because I knew I wanted that craft look to it. So this this has got uh, a lot of time and it's a larger a larger journal. So there's there was a lot more time went into this one. All right, so now this flips down. <clears throat> there's so many flips and tucks in this one, guys. And I'll start here. This is just an envelope. Um, this flips over. And inside here, I've just backed this into a nice writing sheet. So this is tea, uh, coffee dyed paper. And uh, so a lot of writing space in there. And you could write on the front because it's got the lines in it. So that's tucked in here. It was getting so bulky, um, this was, but I do love how it came out. So this one, I've just put some washi tape, and you know how that washi tape is. It Sometimes it doesn't really want to stick that well. Um, this is a little envelope. There's nothing in this one. I just thought I'd leave it so that you could add some memorabilia in there yourself. But I might go back and add a little bit more glue just to hold that down. It just seems to kind of, every time I go into it, it seems to want to pop up, so I'll add a bit of glue before I ship that. Here we've got another tag that's been, I backed it with some coffee dyed paper. Okay, I'll come back to that one. That doesn't want to go back in right now. So uh, here we've got a envelope. I altered and just collaged here so we've got pocket here for a tag in fact I'll just tuck that one in there and I'll come back and make I'll make a little note to put another tag inside that one and then here I've got a couple of journal cards that I backed with some of that coffee dyed paper I love these postcards from the kit they're just beautiful so yes, I'll add another jar, uh, tag to that one. So that flips back in there and then here. And then we flip over to this section. It's I, I just love, I love working with these. So here, now this is a really shallow pocket. Um, it, it's only about that deep. So I haven't put anything in there, but you can add something to it. And then this is a little uh, journal card that I've made here. And then on the back, I just added a little pocket and another little journaling card. So it really is surprising how much writing space there, there is in this. Okay, and so here we've got... Um, Another little snippet here. I did some stamping on some fabric and then another butterfly there. A couple of more journaling cards from the kit and a tag. Added some fabric and a little bit of twine there. And then this um, journaling card. I've got, oh, this is an old um, flashcard. I managed to get this at one of the thrift stores, and uh, that's the first time I've ever run across those. So I haven't altered that one. I just thought the person that, that purchases this might want to use it in a different way. So uh, here is just a little tiny tag. I've done some vellum over that, and then altered this with some lace. And that's tucked in here. And then this one flips down, and... On the back here, this is just a big collage, and then I've got another of the, the three 
tags I've left so you could write. You could do writing on here and on the side. And then I just added one of those uh, big brads. Yeah, I ordered some brads off of Amazon and when they came in they were they were quite big. So <clears throat> I just thought, well, I'll just use them here and there. Um, they weren't what I, what I had intended to order, but I'll make use of them. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're down to this section now. Getting there, guys. This is almost it. Um, another one of the envelopes, and inside I've added another um, postcard. I've done some stitching on. I did some crazy stitching on that pocket. Still working on this machine. Uh, still having some issues with the tension. So today, that is one of my goals, is to just sit down and just try to get this sewing machine um, worked out because the tension is still offering some problems. Um, this pocket here, another guest check that I've altered and just added one of the little tabs to it. And so this goes back up here and this flips over and then this flips and that is the front. And now we flip over to the back. <coughs> I was telling you guys I was waiting on some linen thread to come in and uh, it came in and it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous but is actually the, the um, it's very thin like thread. <clears throat> so um, it came from Poland. I can't return it. I'll, I'll make use out of it on the sewing machine. But yeah, I was really disappointed because I was hoping it was like the linen thread I used to use in the UK, but it's not. Okay, so this, um, so I've just left the hemp thread on there, uh, which works. It's just a little bit stiff, but so this back one does not have a pocket. I think the last one I made, I did create a pocket back there, but this one I didn't. Um, so this opens up. You've got a large pocket here that you can add some items to, and then this, some writing space here, and this flips down. You've got a tuck spot here, and another little pocket here um, that you can add some items to. So, um, it was so bulky, I feel like there's quite a bit of eph ephemera within it, so I thought, well, that would be nice to leave that you can just add your own things to. So there it is, guys. This is um, Grand Adventure. I love how it came out. I think it's just beautiful. Um, and I just want to explain very quickly, I've made some changes. Um, now that I'm based in the U.S., shipping is, is even more expensive from the United States. So what I've done on, on the journals is I've just decided I'm going to make the price to include shipping to mainland United States only. I will ship internationally, but it is expensive, and I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. So I have put that on there. If you are in a country that it is not showing I ship to, please contact me. I have a contact form within my site, guys, and um, just contact me, and I'll work out the shipping to your country. But as I said, that was the only way I knew how to do it. So if you're um, in the mainland United States, the price does include the shipping. If you're in another part of the world, you know, I've, I've, I've adjusted it uh, and as, as best I can. So, <laughs> okay, guys, so that's it. I hope you've enjoyed that. I will be back very soon. I'll give you a little sneak peek on... Um, my dear, dear friend Angela, who is Angela Kerr, um, I am going to be working on a journal using one of her kits here, and this is like, a, I can't remember the name of it, but it's a sunflower kit, as you can see, and the colors are absolutely gorgeous. Now you'll see mine, I've printed two to the page because I'm working in smaller, um, sizes um, given my um, living accommodation <laughs> so this is a this would normally be a whole page 
Um, so that's a little sneak peek on what I'm going to be working at with guys. Uh, it's, it's a gorgeous kit. Absolutely beautiful. She's Angela Kerr on YouTube and she's Angela Kerr Designs on Etsy. I believe it's, yes, it's Angela Kerr Designs on Etsy. So um, if you're liking what you're seeing there, check her out. Uh, so this is what I'm going to be working with next, um, which is going to be really, really fun. So, okay guys, that is it. That's all I've got to share today. Stay tuned for a little haul video on some thrifting items as well as some things I purchased from Amazon. So I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.